What is up guys, Sidrus here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Battlefield 4 video brought to you by BNE and your house bare face. So, we're going to be comparing the ACWR to the Ace21 CQB, and he says, Good video, ACWR versus Ace21, never seen it on YouTube yet, and you would be the first one. So, I'll never turn down a request by anyone who comments, so if you think that you have a good idea to do, then please comment it down below. I'm teabagging that pipe out of joy, and I will get back to you probably, and I will do a... Uh, video on that later so I got this comment about two days ago and I've been recording and I've been really just trying to use both weapons just to see my overall you know opinions on it and originally I didn't really like the AC or the ACE 21 and the ACWR ACRW whatever the fuck I thought that that was honestly the better weapon for a while and I really did have a connection to it for a solid amount of time because you know, I just felt like it took out enemies so damn fast, and I just thought it was just an overall great weapon. And, you know, honestly, I want to thank this kid because he gave me a different opinion on the Ace-21. Because, you know, it's one of my favorite carbines now. Just because I got started, I started to use it again, and, you know, I kind of have a second opinion on it. A second, you know, doubt that I've been, you know, a little bit harsh to it. And I feel like I'm treating it as if a baby. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm giving it, like, you know, a second chance type of thing. And I thought that this would be, you know, just something that would help me get to recognize their weapons better and to, you know, start using different weapons and branching out because I just really didn't like it at first and, you know, now I'm in love with it. But anyway, let's get on to the actual comparison part. I'm using Simtic.com, which is a great tool to compare any weapons side by side. You can see the stats exactly. You can easily see what's better and what's worse because it's coded, color-coded like red, green, and white for neutral. So, let's get started. The ACWR honestly beats out almost anything statistically that the Ace-21 has. And we're just going to start with the fire rate. The rate of fire with the ACWR is 880 rounds per minute. And that beats out the 770 rounds per minute that the Ace-21 has by a pretty good amount. And, you know, the, Ace the ACWR, that 110 rounds of, of fire rate, whatever we, whatever you want to call it, that it just feels like a lot more than what it sounds like and it really does take out the enemy that much quicker but you know I still think that the H21 although that it pretty much the ACWR says statistically that it beats out almost any category of the Ace 21 besides the recoil I, I still just think that it is the better overall weapon so the ACWR also beats it out in muzzle velocity as a 500 uh, meters per second Muzzle velocity over the 410 meters per second muzzle muzzle velocity of the Ace 21. It also has a better reload time, empty and with bullets left. Uh, the long reload is 2.37 and the short is 1.83. And the Ace 21's long reload is 3.1, which is that's pretty damn long. And you really kind of got to watch when you uh, run out of ammo with the Ace 21 because you know that extra cock that has to do. With that um, little, I guess you'd say, I guess you'd say pullback thing on the left side of the weapon, it takes up a lot of time. And with the AC or all you have to do is just like I don't know, do like this little tapping thing, and it like cocks it for you, and it's a lot faster. So it beats it out in reload time, long and short, as a 3.1 reload time and a 2.1 short reload time for the AS21. And you know that's a big, big difference. When you're running and gunning, you're going to need a fast reload time, or else you're going to be finding yourself dead before you can even have your gun up. So the only thing the Ace 21 really beats it out in is, I would say, recoil, and it has you know just a slightly less recoil. But I will say that the Ace 21 is a lot more vertical. It's a lot easier to control because the ACWR it's a little all over the place. I mean, even if you do pull slightly down, it still vibrates left and right. Like, oh, hell, I mean, a compensator would probably be a good combination for it. And, you know, just to take off a little bit of that left to right recoil. But you do realize that once you take off some of that left to right recoil, the automatic actually is going to be a little bit less anyway. So, really, these two weapons, it's basically all opinion. ACWR, honestly, is the better weapon when you're just going straight out, running guns, straight for that objective, you know, rush or go home type of thing. So if you really like intense gameplays, then I would go for the ACWR. But if you're more of the, you know, defense type of person, on like say you're playing a rush, you're you're kind of sitting back there supporting your teammates who are planning, and you know you're you're liking the defensive mode more than you are like in the offensive mode. And I would say go for the Ace 21. So this is really all opinionated, and it really just depends on your play style. So it's kind of up to the viewers what they think. You know, there's no definite answer here. So. That was actually a really good um, 
suggestion made by Bareface, whatever the hell his name was. And, you know, I actually thanked him for that because it got me using different weapons and now I have different feelings for the Ace-21. So, that'll conclude this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed all my weapon comparisons so far. If you do, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.